Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And before we get into this video, I just want to tell everyone, leave a like on this. Playoff predictions are here. Playoffs are always fun. And what's better than predicting the playoffs? Nothing. So, before we get into leave a like, subscribe if you guys are brand new, turn on the post notification bell so you never miss an upload. We're going to have about two more uh, playoff wildcard, AL wildcard starts tomorrow. So, we got to get these out quick. So, let's go. So, matchup number one. Uh, in the playoff predictions, you have the Tampa Bay Rays, the number one seed versus the Toronto Blue Jays, the eighth seed. Uh, going in, I'm, as you can tell, I'm a Blue Jay fan. I think this will be a good series. Um, I think there's a chance the Jays win it, but I don't think they will. I think the Tampa Bay Rays are going to win that. I think they'll take three games. Um, I've heard stuff about Walker than Ryu starting, and if they do that, and they can get Walker for game one, and he can get the dub, I think it's a Blue Jays series win. But if he doesn't, Ryu will pitch the second game, and then it'll be third game. But I think Rays will come out on top at a 2-1 series. Match number two, we have Cleveland and uh, New York. And, um, yeah, New York. What happened? You guys were supposed to be the number one seed, weren't you? But, uh, you're the fifth seed. You don't even get to play in the Bronx. And honestly, I have Cleveland winning this in two games. I don't think you'll... I don't think they'll touch Shane Bieber. And then... I think they'll beat... They won't really do much against Zach Blisak, so... I think Cleveland wins. Uh, now the 2 versus 7 is Oakland versus Chicago. Now, Chicago had the fourth seed under command for... Actually, they had the three seed under command for a bit, then the four seed, and then they dropped to the fifth, uh, to the seventh seed. But I don't know. I I have this really weird feeling that Chicago is going to come out on top on this one. I really do. Um, I'd love to see Oakland win. I really would. But how weird feeling the White Sox are going to come out on top on this series. Two one to Chicago. Uh, the final bracket, the final round robin wild card game on the American League side, it's Minnesota and Houston. Minnesota wins this one too. There's not much to say. Houston sucks this year. They really do. They uh, they're the only American League team to make the playoffs as a five, under 500 record. Um, their MVP was batting 219 this year. They are, they're losing to Minnesota. Minnesota has the support from everyone out there. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Now the ALDS is Tampa Bay and Cleveland. Now, this is going to be an interesting series. Both really strong pitching, but, and I guess really strong offense too. I want to go with Tampa Bay though. You stick with my gut. I think Tampa Bay will win this in five. So Tampa Bay, they uh, take the series 3-2. Be a very interesting series to watch though, if that does happen. Um, God, I hope the Yankees don't win. Uh, and then the other ALDS is the White Sox versus Minnesota. <sighs> the other ALDS is the White Sox versus Minnesota. And I have... got the White Sox coming out on top. I really do. I think the White Sox are going to come in here with vengeance. And I don't... I think I are going to go in hot. They're just going to do the thing. I know they're a cool team right now. I do know that. But I think they're going to come in here with vengeance a day off or so, get their stuff back together. I think that'll help. Beating Oakland, the two seed, is definitely going to help their confidence. And yeah, I think they'll beat Minnesota too. So that leaves us with a Tampa Bay and White Sox. Uh, ALCS. And now I think it's time for Tampa Bay to raise that banner. They're going to the World Series. We got to go Tampa Bay. Taking it 4-3 over Chicago, but they're going to go to the World Series. They're going to play in Arlington for the World Series. Now, the National League side. This is this is the where some fun happens here, everyone. Um, I might regret these picks later, but right now, I'm for some reason having confidence in some of these teams. The National League wildcard, 1 versus 8. Dodgers versus Milwaukee. Milwaukee basically lost their way into the wild card. I don't even know how they did this. Um, San Francisco got screwed over by the strike three call. I don't think it was a strike. No one does. 
yeah, whatever. But I think Dodgers, I don't think it matters who the Dodgers are going to face in the wild card. They're taking a 2 0. Walker Bueller, game one. Clayton Kershaw, game two. Uh, there, there it is. There's playoff Kershaw and whatnot. They, they're going to win. Um, San Diego versus St. Louis. I think San Diego's winning it. Uh, the pitching's a little depleted. Um, and I don't think they got Paddock right now. I don't even know when they get Paddock back, which is why my picks are the way they are. Uh, two versus seven is Atlanta versus Cincinnati. And uh, I'm sorry, Atlanta fans. I got Cincinnati winning this in two games. I don't even think Atlanta's going to win a game. The Cincinnati, they're, uh, their pinchy, pitching staff is insane. Their offense is starting to heat up. They're they're a real scary team out there. Uh, you got Power Game One. There's your NL Cy Young winner, um, and then Luis Castillo Game Two. I don't know. I don't know how anyone beats that. Uh, who's? I think Atlanta's putting out Max Fried Game One, and then I don't even know after that to be honest with you. I don't follow the Braves that well, but I do know. But I do know Cincinnati is going to put out a good pitch and staff. Their offense is pretty good. They're going to take it 2-0 in a sweep. And then finally, it's Chicago and Miami. Um, congrats to Miami, by the way. No one thought you'd make it this far. Uh, you did. Good job. You're 62, which is insane. You're not even one of the wildcard teams. So, congrats. But I think it ends in the wildcard. Um, no, Miami's never lost a playoff series. They're playing really good. They just took two or three from the Yankees. They're going to be really confident. But I do think Chicago is just going to have that edge on them in every little aspect. And I think they're going to take it 2-0 over Miami. So there's that. Sorry, Miami. So I know the S. Yes, you got the Dodgers versus the Padres. Now, if the Padres can get back Chris Pat, or uh, not Chris Paddock, uh, Mike Clevenger, I think they'll win the series. But right now, you don't know when Clevenger's coming back. Um, Dimson Lamlet, or however you say his name. The other dude. Uh, I don't know how to say his name. He also just went out hurt. I don't know if he's back for the playoffs or not. not, or not. I don't really follow San Diego that well. So, I don't know what their rotation is going to look like come NLDS time. But, um, I think the Dodgers going to take it 3-2. I think it's going to be a really good series. But I think if Clevenger and uh, Lamlet can get back, I think the Padres could take this series. But right now they're not there, so I'm going Dodgers. Sorry, Padre fans. Hell of a year, though. Um, I wished you were like kind of like a six seed. Don't lie. You just shoot your way through. Uh, NLDS. Uh, you got Cincinnati and Chicago. Now, this was a fun. This would be a fun series to watch. You got the two Cy Young candidates, Bauer and Darvish. Dar uh, Bauer's winning, by the way. Um, but Darvish going to have a good year. That's your game one matchup. I don't know how you don't put Darvish game one. Uh, I think Cincinnati wins. 3-1. Yeah. I think that's what happens. I think uh, Chicago will beat Gray. Bauer will go on short rest, extremely short rest, actually. And I think he clutches. Or they throw TJ Antone in there, who's been, by the way, insane this year. Who would have thought that? So, yeah, that leaves an NLCS of the Dodgers and the Reds. What an insane matchup this would be. Strong pitching from the Reds, strong offense from the Dodgers. But... I think the Dodgers will win that series 4-3. I think it'll be a really good series. I'd watch that series. Same with, I'm going to watch the San Diego-St. Louis series. Same with the Cleveland-New York series. I'm going to watch those series. It's going to be so fun to watch. But I think, I think Dodgers just edge out Cincinnati by a bit. Now here, here we go. This is the interesting part. You got Tampa Bay. You got the Dodgers. World Series. Both in Arlington. But, oh man, I think, I think the Dodgers win it in seven. The Dodgers are going to be the World Series champions of 2020, I think. I don't know, man. I don't know how you don't win it as the Dodgers this year. Look at the team they got. I don't know how you don't win it this year. I don't, like, I like 
I'm okay picking Dodgers, but I have the weird feeling that they're going to lose to San Diego. I do, but I got I got Dodgers winning the World Series 4-3. Um, Kershaw's going to get his ring. Betts is going to get another ring. Bellinger's going to get his ring. All those guys, they're going to get their rings. Tampa Bay, not this year, hopefully next year. Um, great year, though. So, now I'm going to go with the MVPs. Uh, postseason MVP for the Tampa Bay Rays is going to be Brandon Lau. Um, what an insane year he's had. He's been so good. Like, so good. Uh, he doesn't get enough credit for how well he plays. He's a really good player. I'm scared of him, honestly. As a Blue Jay fan, he scares me, not going to lie. For the Dodgers, their uh, they're playoff MVP, um... Corey Seager's going to take the NLCS. I think he's going to have an insane, insane postseason lean up to the World Series. Um, I think he's going to just absolutely take it. So I think Seager's going to take the uh, the National League postseason MVP. Brian Lau takes American League postseason MVP. And now World Series MVP. Ah, I think. I think Bellinger gets his stuff back. No. Bueller. I think Bueller takes it. He's going to have an insane World Series. Bueller takes World Series MVP. Those are my picks. Let me know what your picks are down in the comment section down below. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Check out my Twitter. At Dr. Blue Jay. Uh, we'll leave a link to it in the description. I'm going to be tweeting my reactions to the playoff series. Um, try and do all of them. Not, uh, sure how I'll do. Uh, definitely we'll be keeping up with the Tampa Bay Toronto and the Cleveland New York one. Those are the two that I really want to watch. Same with the, uh, Atlanta Cincinnati and San Diego St. Louis. Same with the San Diego and St. Louis series and the Atlanta Cincinnati series. Those will be the four wildcard series that I'm definitely going to have to watch. They're going to be so good. I, I can't wait. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys are brand new. And yeah, 